Who is Marie Kondo? And why is she so important in the world of decluttering, you may ask? Well, let's start at the beginning. Marie Kondo is a Japanese organizing consultant and author who shot to international fame with her best-selling book, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. Kondo's book hit the shelves in 2014, and it was an instant sensation. It sold millions of copies worldwide and has been translated into several languages. But why did it resonate with so many people? The book introduced a unique decluttering method known as the KonMari method, which goes beyond the physical act of cleaning. It's about creating a space that sparks joy, a concept that has since revolutionized the way people approach decluttering. Kondo's book has not only changed countless homes, but also the lives of those living in them. It has inspired a global movement of individuals seeking to transform their lives through the power of tidying up. So, if you're feeling overwhelmed by your clutter, you're not alone. But don't worry, there's a solution, and it begins with understanding the philosophy behind decluttering. As we delve into the art of tidying up, we'll explore the principles of the KonMari method and how you can apply them to your own life. So, are you ready for a life-changing journey? Let's get started. Do you feel overwhelmed by the clutter in your home? It's a common sensation, isn't it? The feeling of being surrounded by things that don't serve you, that only add to your stress. But what if there was a way to change that? Welcome to the art of decluttering, a transformative process that can lead to a more fulfilling life. Decluttering is not just about tidying up. It's about creating an environment that promotes joy, productivity, and peace. And the best part, you don't need to be a minimalist or an organizing guru to start this journey. Whether your home is a tad untidy or a chaotic mess, decluttering is for you. It's for anyone seeking to reduce stress, increase productivity, and generally live a better life. Remember, the state of your surroundings can significantly impact your mindset. A tidy home can lead to a tidy mind. So, are you ready to transform your life by tidying up your space? Have you ever heard of The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo? This book is a true gem in the realm of personal organization and decluttering. It introduces readers to the KonMari method, a revolutionary approach to tidying up that has transformed homes and lives around the world. The author, Marie Kondo, is a Japanese organizing consultant who has dedicated her life to the study of tidying. She started her tidying business when she was just 19 and studying sociology at Tokyo Women's Christian University. Her book, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, has sold millions of copies worldwide and it's easy to see why. At the core of Kondo's book is the KonMari Method, a systematic approach to decluttering that encourages individuals to only keep things that spark joy in their lives. This method is not about getting rid of things for the sake of decluttering, but rather about cherishing the items that truly bring happiness and letting go of the rest with gratitude. Kondo's method is unique because it isn't just about tidying physical spaces, but also about creating a more serene and inspiring environment to live in. She emphasizes that tidying isn't a chore, but a celebration of personal sensitivity and an expression of self-care. The book also introduces the concept of komono, a Japanese term that refers to miscellaneous items that don't belong in a specific category. Kondo believes that these items, often overlooked, play a significant role in our lives and should be tidied with care. The life-changing magic of tidying up is more than just a guide to decluttering your home. It's a testament to the transformative power of tidying. It's about understanding what truly matters in your life, what brings you joy, and making room for those things. In a world that often encourages us to acquire more, Kondo's book is a refreshing reminder of the beauty of simplicity and the joy that can be found in a well-organized home. Kondo's method is not just about tidying up. It's about cherishing the things that truly matter. So, what are the key principles of the KonMari method? The KonMari method is not just about cleaning up your space. It's a philosophy 
a way of life that focuses on the relationship between you and your belongings. The method is composed of five key steps that we're going to explore right now. Firstly, commit to tidying up. This isn't a half-hearted attempt to clean up. It's an earnest commitment to make a change. You need to make a firm decision that you're going to declutter your life, not just your home. Next, imagine your ideal lifestyle. This isn't about creating a Pinterest-worthy space. It's about creating a living space that reflects who you are and what you value. What does your dream home look like? What kind of life do you want to live there? This visualization is crucial to the KonMari method. Thirdly, discard before organizing. The key here is not to find a place for everything, but to only keep things that spark joy. Once you've decided what to keep, then you can think about where to put them. But remember, it's not about getting rid of things. It's about acknowledging their purpose in your life and letting go of the ones that no longer serve you. Next, tidy by category, not location. Instead of tidying room by room, the KonMari method encourages you to tidy by category. That means gathering all items of the same type together and then deciding what to keep. This might sound like a lot of work, but it's actually a more efficient way of decluttering. Lastly, follow the right order. Kondo suggests starting with clothes, then books, papers, kimono, miscellaneous items, and finally, sentimental items. This order is designed to help you hone your ability to decide what sparks joy. And remember, a unique aspect of the KonMari method is to thank each item before discarding it. It's a way of expressing gratitude for the role the item has played in your life. Remember, the aim is not to get rid of things, but to acknowledge their purpose in your life. Now that we know the principles, how do we start our decluttering journey? Well, first things first, set a specific date to start. Don't just say, I'll start tomorrow or I'll do it when I get some free time. Instead, choose a specific date and time, mark it on your calendar and make a commitment to yourself. This is the first step towards your clutter-free life. Next, remember to tackle one category at a time. It might be tempting to jump from your wardrobe to your kitchen to your garage in one day, but that's a surefire way to burn out quickly. Instead, start with your clothes, then move on to books, papers, miscellaneous items, and finally, sentimental items. This methodical approach not only makes the process more manageable, but also allows you to see your progress and stay motivated. Now, as you go through each category, create a designated spot for every item. This might seem like an obvious tip, but it's surprising how many of us just shove things into drawers or cupboards without a second thought. By giving each item a home, you'll know exactly where to find it when you need it. And you'll avoid the chaos of searching through piles of stuff. And here's the most important tip of all. Be patient with the process. Decluttering is not a one-day task. It's a lifestyle change. It's about making a conscious decision to live with less so you can enjoy more. It's about letting go of the things that no longer serve you and making space for the things that truly matter. So, don't rush. Take your time and enjoy the journey. Remember, decluttering is more than just cleaning up. It's about creating a space that reflects who you are and what you value. It's about creating a home that makes you feel calm, happy and inspired. And it's about creating a life that brings you joy and fulfillment. So, embark on your decluttering journey today and experience the life-changing magic of tidying up.